who's working for you to get answers. There are 14 unsolved homicides in Savannah from 2014. On Tuesday, you heard from a Savannah mother still searching for answers after her son's murder four years ago. WJCL's Ashley Lincoln talked with Metro Police about the challenges they face. Janice Hall told me shortly after our story, she received a call from Metro Police. We reached out to them to ask why are there so many unsolved homicides and why families say they have a hard time getting in contact with detectives. I haven't got an answer yet. Janice Hall is one of many family members looking for answers in an unsolved homicide of a loved one. Giving me no information, no kind of closure. Hall, living just a few blocks away from where her son was killed, says it's a constant reminder of the looming questions. Over a 10 year period, there's quite a few unsolved. Homicide. Major Larry Branson with Metro Police says 2014 ended with 14 unsolved homicides. Anytime we get additional evidence, anytime we have additional information, we're going to pursue that. And it might be a case from this year or last year or five years ago or three years ago. Branson says each investigator in the homicide unit investigates on average three homicides a year. Sometimes when we don't have leads on the case, we don't continue to call the family because we are investigating other cases as well. He says the unit is staffed appropriately, but when an overwhelming amount of homicides come in, combined with a lack of clues, it makes cases harder to solve. The only thing that slows us down, the only thing that stops us in an investigation is when information does not come into us, when we do not have additional clues which to work on. You, you know, for them, it's, it's not going to go away, and, and it's still fresh. Cheryl and, Rogers, and director just, with the know, District Attorney's Victim concerned. Witness Program, says families often get frustrated when they no longer hear from police about leads in unsolved cases. They're very busy, and, and it is real frustrating to get to them. A lot of times they will call, and we will try to make contact with the detective. And Branson addressed why some individuals say they have a difficult time getting in contact with detectives. He says oftentimes people aren't calling the right number. If you go to Metro's website, click investigations, then go down to homicides, and the contact information is listed below. For now, reporting in the studio, Ashley Lincoln for WJCO News.